But all my questions are relevant. So they are going to push the to argument further. The supplementary <laughs> questions. <laughs> they are not <laughs> to deflect. <laughs> unstart, unstart questions. Marian Sang Mare. Well, it's uh, probably going to be boring. I did not light many fires in my life. You did not? He did not light many fires in his loudly, life. Loudly, loudly, loudly. And uh, most of the things that happened in my life are coincidental. You know, when I uh, studied Portuguese, I was given equivalent to SSC and I could join college. And, it's uh, accidental, you're saying? It's accidental? No, no, accidental means after I left one. Okay. After I left one. Uh, I dropped out of college and because I had the opportunity to go abroad. A friend of mine who was in the seminary, becoming priest, he was in Germany and he told me that if I want to come to Germany, uh, he said there are opportunities in Germany, why don't you come, you can also study here. And uh, that was kind of a music in my ears, like I always wanted to go out. You know? Those boys, even, I think even today, when you go on young boys, they want to... They just want to go out? Emigrate, yeah. Anyway. But there are a lot of hurdles in... Uh, it's called going. out. It's not Yeah, immigrating. it's called out. You need a passport. Out, out. Go out. You go out. You've come from out. You yeah. Go out. You go out. You don't get these things here. They brought from out. Come on. You need a passport. Okay, you get seven minutes. Is that it? <laughs> and then, then there is the next question. You need money. I was 20 years old. I was 19 years old when I started all these things. So, I just thought one by one. I thought it's not going to be possible for me to go. But I initiated it. So I had my village identity, I had Portuguese documents. And uh, I didn't know what to do, how to make passport. I was in Margao in front of Holy Spirit Church. And I met my colleague who was the son of Dr. Egypt in Margao. Mento Egypt. And he, you know, he's uh, a Blasco. So I spoke to him uh, about it and he said, look, as my neighbor, Nisuano Almeida, he just made Portuguese passport, he is going to Brazil. So why don't you go and see him? So I went there, I just tried to tell you quickly, I don't want to take so much time. I went to see him and he said, uh, you have the billet, they didn't tell you. I said, yes. No, oh, yes, it's very good. He said, he made an application to the Brazilian embassy. because Portuguese They were handling, they were handling. There they were, were no, handling, yeah. no yeah, ties, no ties. So then they wrote me a letter to send photographs. So I sent photographs. In two weeks I got a register, a letter in brown envelope. I opened it, passport was there. Really? Yeah. Now what I'm, now I was, you know, I was thinking it's not going to be possible. Now I have a passport, now I say, how do I go out? Because out. my parents were not willing to do that. Uh, they also didn't have money to pay it that, at that time. It was only 5,000 rupees. But 5,000 rupees in 1966 was a lot of money. How much? 5,000 For what? For, for a ticket. 5,000? Yeah. 5,000? Well, 4,000 some, about five, and this was only... By plane or by ship? By plane. Huh. Somewhere around, I don't know exactly. Maybe ships were that. still flying, ships were still flying, but not to, maybe not... He came back in 1966, he went in 1966. I came back in 1966. You came, came back, back. <laughs> Play Madka today 66. Play 66 Madka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make good money. So, so what happened is uh, I, my mother had a cousin. Uh, I went to him to convince my parents. And he really convinced them he had some influence over my parents and they gave me the money. You know, I never went out of Goa after the age of I never went. I was when I was small, five years old, I went to Bombay. But I don't I didn't have any idea. First time I took, went to Bombay when I was going to Germany. So I was typical Goan boy, you know. Least I brought up I was brought up speaking uh, Portuguese in the school and company at home. So when I went to Germany it was not easy. I went with twenty pounds in my pocket. Only 20 pounds were allowed. 20 pounds. $7? Not $7? No. 20 no. pounds. It was $20. 20 pounds. No. 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 Uh, and you knew very little English then. Very mean, huh? 
I, I, I uh, spoke English, but see what happened. First Portuguese, then can English, now I'm going to Germany. Forget about all these things. They don't know English there. Yeah. German. So I had to study German, and uh, there was no other way. German was not an easy language to learn. It's totally different, like uh, other languages. And, uh, but I, I had to work very hard. Now you're fluent in German? Frequency Deutsch. Now I must be, uh, good. Now I must be translating good. back. Where do you live in Germany? Okay. Done? No, no, next. We have to wait, 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 wait. Story is not over. No, but in between you clap to Sir. Hey, wait, wait, it's not over. Yeah, I studied in Germany. You're clapping to Sir. No, Connect himself. And he started working he with a German company, a German uh, uh, city, uh, as a project manager. And they gave me, because I spoke English, they gave me NATO projects, like wow. military projects. So wow. I spoke German and English. I see. Mm. So there, within one year, I met a military officer, a colonel, and uh, he asked me to come to play with him racquetball. I never played racquetball. Hauptmann. Play what? Play what? Racquetball. Racquetball. Hauptmann. Hauptmann. You met a Hauptmann? No, he was colonel. colonel. And what is Hauptmann? Hauptmann is the captain. Ah, okay. Captain. Okay, yes, yeah. So he asked me, he said, Tony, they call me Tony, my name is, second name is Antonio. And he said, how about you come to work for me? How much money are you making there? To be how about you work for me? I'll give you a good salary. Are you going to work? So it was a good offer and I enjoy working with Americans. They were very friendly and very easy going and things like that. So I said, uh, yeah, and he, op he offered me 500 marks more every month to this salary. Multiply by 10 rupees. Multiply by 10. I think the dinner yeah. is now on Mariano because his money is just multiplied here. Yeah. <laughs> <Totally good. laughs> Multiply by 10. So, Ajit is laughing the most. I'm laughing at because of Michelle. Michelle has become very I'm naughty. Michelle. I don't know what happened. So, at the start of it, she was okay, no? She was in good Michelle, condition. The first part of her name is no, Michelle. Hey, wait, your story is not over here. Yeah, well, I cut it short now. From there on, a lot of things happen. Okay. They're not so interesting. Let's, let's uh, go to the next one. Now, okay. what are you doing? Tell Shabel. us what now you're doing. We are, we are oh to go to Shabel. 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 No, 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 no. No, Dr. Selsa wants to hear Tino's no, 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 story. No, no, no.